everyone hear me okay? Is everyone having a great FurCon? Yes! I love FurCons because FurCons are one of the only places where people won't think you're high if they're like, hey, did you see that dragon? That's <laughs> <laughs> no, not even Chinese New Year. <laughs> Sometimes FurCons share space with uh, different events going on. Just once I want a FurCon to share space with rehab. <laughs> that way, the heroin addicts can actually chase me. <laughs> no, chase the dragon. <laughs> anyway, oh man, what else I got? Oh, yes. Oh yes, I have many uh, uh, albino fur friends. Uh, their first owners are albino with pure white fur and everything. But I just call them animal crackers. <laughs> <laughs> a lot like having fake tits <laughs> because you know they're expensive and really uncomfortable but look at me <laughs> <laughs> I want to open a restaurant that like the whole waiting staff is in fursuit there's a like come on guys we're gonna go watch the game at suitors I like the <laughs> My boyfriend is also has a fursuit, you might not have seen it, and he is a six foot eight ferret. I want to let him loose in fursuit in Bigfoot country. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, I found Bigfoot. He's adorable. <laughs> Before I let you go, I want to let you know how Furby ruined Christmas. Uh -oh. You might have heard this story a little bit on my podcast, The Dragon Show, that I co-host with Alkali. Uh, when I was a teenager, my parents got me a Furby. But, you know, the toy that looks like uh, uh, Gizmo Fuck the Tribble. <laughs> They're just about that annoying, too. There are no buttons, no on and off. It is just voice activated. Or, no, no, I motion, and then it just goes, Yee! And then won't shut up until you stick it into solitary confinement. <laughs> that said, it didn't last long with my patience. And I stuck it in the closet, where it remained, just waiting to go off in the closet, which sounds a lot like me in high school. <laughs> Fast forward to Christmas this year. Everything is slowing down. It's Christmas Eve night. My parents are asleep. I'm feeling nostalgic. So hey, let's go look at some, uh, you know, yearbooks in the closet. Go towards the closet. <laughs> I am looking for an off switch. There is no such off switch. Just screws. I don't know what panic mode initiated. <laughs> I take it. I stick it in a pillowcase with a pillow because I know that downstairs there are some screwdrivers. What I don't know is my mama's wrapping presents in the living room. <laughs> so she sees her naked son with something screaming in a pillow. <laughs> running down to the basement. La 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 la. I, I get to said basement. I find some screws, screwdrivers. They're stripping. They're not coming out. <laughs> Panic mode reinitiated. <laughs> I'm trying to call you ma. I'm trying the five-point palm exploding heart technique. I have a screwdriver. I start stabbing the fur coat. Not only was it not enough. Yes. Not only was it not enough to see her naked son running downstairs, she sees her naked son in the basement stabbing a Furby with a screwdriver. La 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 la. Needless to say, we actually finally got the batteries out, but then after that we could all agree, fuck Furbies. Yeah. <laughs>